Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from channel listener Tammy Lynn Burdrick, Pensacola, Florida. The year of the hammer, resurrections, and being overtaken by his glory. The Lord is saying in this hour, this is the year the remnant will roar louder and say enough is enough. This is the year the remnant is rising with a roar louder than ever and with a hammer in their hands. The hammer will be used to slay every giant that has operated in the lives of individuals and families, in marriages and government. The hammer is bringing defeat to every demonic principality that has brought strife, division, perversion, violence of every kind to the innocent both born and unborn, and corruption that has brought oppression against God's people. The Lord long ago decreed, Enough is enough. And now in the land of the living, the remnant is echoing his words. This agreement between the Lord and his people has now established 2023 as the set time to repay evil for evil and for those who have wept in tears to reap their rewards. Using a rug to cover up sin and generational curses is no longer allowed. The rug is being pulled out and darkness is being exposed. The rise and the roar of restore from this remnant. It has been seen and heard, and the Lord is saying to his people that you will no longer be oppressed. The captives are being set free and will take captive the powers of darkness. The powers of darkness will no longer have the power it had that has brought oppression to individuals and families and marriages and government. Again, enough is enough. I heard the Lord say, The year 2023 will be like the days of Ezekiel. Every dead seed that has been buried will now spring forth with new life. What looked like it was over is being resuscitated by the resurrection power of God. Families and marriages that were buried because of the spirit of division or divorce or lust or jealousy or anger, even unforgiveness, they're coming back alive. They will be stronger than they were before. The Lord is removing the stone in the hearts as he does an open heart surgery on those who have allowed sin and bitterness and unforgiveness to pollute relationships that he has required to be loving and Christ-like. Where there was pride, humility will now be seen. Hearts are coming back to the Lord. Families are coming back to the Lord. Marriages are coming back to the Lord. The nations will come back to the Lord. The valley of dry bones shall see the resurrection power of the Lord this year. I heard the Lord say, This will be the year of the overtaken by my glory. This will be the year that generations will come to hear about. There is a shockwave of God's glory that began in 2022. And there are still many miracles to be seen and testified to. 2023 will be the year to see the fruit of faith and perseverance. In 2022, many were left with, it hasn't happened yet. But 2023 will be the year, they say, just like that, the Lord did it. The chapter on the pain and the trauma of the past has come to an end. The new chapter is unfolding with the glory of God filling every page. See Judges 4. Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14, John 1, 14, and John eleven forty. in your time with the Lord. Let's pray into this word together. Father God, Lord, I pray that you give strength. Continue to give strength, Lord. Lord, not only do we want this hammer, I love that metaphor, Father, the hammer to defeat, to crush the demonic principalities, but Lord, we want to have the ability to, the wisdom, God, the ability to understand, Lord. We hear you saying, enough is enough, Father. Help us to stand up. Give us boldness, Father. That not only would we have it, we've already got it, but Lord, that we would wield the hammer. That we would wield it by the Spirit, Father. That we would help to set the captives free. Lord, that we would help to, to free from oppression individuals and families. Lord, that we would be able to stand against strife and division and perversion and violence of every kind. I thank you, Lord, for all that 2022 was. And we know, Father, that 2023 will be that much more powerful for your kingdom. We'll have that many more testimonies to testify to, Father. Lord, I thank you for that shockwave of your glory. Lord, we can feel the ripples coming. We can feel the ripples passing. 
And Lord, we're so looking forward to the day when we stand back and say, just like that, the Lord did it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.